Welcome and good evening to the first in a series of Evening With concerts uh, that we run through the course of the year, allowing a platform for our girls to showcase their talents on particular groups of instruments. So this evening's uh, choice is an evening with keyboard. Um, we have a range of different performances uh, for you this evening and we'll be starting the proceedings um, with a wonderful performance by Sofia Benito, um, who will be performing uh, for us uh, La Fille aux Chevaux de la or Girl with the Flaxen Hair, or Golden Hair, whichever you prefer in the translation. Um, and it's a wonderful piece by uh, impressionist composer Debussy, um, where he tries to create this evocative tale um, of this girl with the golden hair. So let's see if you can sense that lyricism uh, and warmth um, in this rendition by Sofia Benito. Well, what a way to start our Tuesday evening and hopefully it's helped you to wind after perhaps a stressful day uh, or a busy day, certainly. Um, so we're going to move from uh, Debussy to more of a contemporary in, in the form of Greek um, and hearing a song that comes from uh, a collection or a series um, of lyric piano pieces written by Greek. This comes from uh, one of his third volumes. It is the first piece that appears in that called The Butterfly. Um, sort of a, a wonderfully elegant Mendelssohnian evocation of this butterfly flitting from uh, flower to flower. So hopefully you'll enjoy that, that playfulness in Cecilia Kilpatrick's rendition of The Butterfly by Grieg. Hello, my name is Cecilia and today I'll be playing Butterfly by Grieg. <laughs>
So moving on from our wonderfully relaxing and evocative impressionist uh, piano pieces, we're now going to hear something altogether completely different in the form of a grade five uh, ABRSM piano piece, part of their syllabus, called Film Noir by Mike McCormack. And it's absolutely littered with all of those jazz references that you'd hope for in a piece of this title. So hopefully you enjoy the playfulness uh, that Mike McCormack has achieved in this particular piece ably played by Alex Gentry. Hello, I'm Alex Gentry and I'll be playing Film Noir by Mike Cornick. So now on to uh, a piece loosely connected with the uh, Impressionist composers that we heard at the beginning uh, by Chinese composer Zhang Zhao. Um, and the piece is called Remote Shangalila, which roughly translates as uh, Remote Unspoiled Paradise, um, which is quite a nice idea for us this evening. Um, it definitely kind of balances the um, pentatonic ideas from traditional uh, Chinese music uh, with uh, Western harmonizing for piano and uh, it ends with this rather exuberant um, arpeggiated cadenza uh, utilising the full range of the instrument. And this is going to be performed by Olivia Ng, um, who's only just joined us this year at Bedford Girls' School. Um, so what a wonderful opportunity for her to showcase some of the music that she's already been working on.
So hopefully you enjoyed uh, that wonderfully evocative piece by Olivia Ong. Um, and we are going to now hear something um, sort of more from the jazz and pop repertoire uh, of piano playing, um, a piece called Starry Dome, written by George Nevada. Um, and this particular piece um, sort of not only paints the scene of uh, constellations rising and falling in the night sky, but presents some uh, perhaps tricky technical challenges for the player to master, uh, such as maintaining that cantabile melodic uh, line, whilst uh, matching that with the soft and subtle accompaniment of the, of the chords being played. Not only that, but you have to watch out for the unexpected changes in rhythm, uh, which often can catch players out. Uh, but this piece is ably played uh, by Kyla Hill and a real joy to listen to, so enjoy. Hello, my name is Kyla and I'm going to play The Starry Dome by George Nevada. So now we're going to return to one of the pieces that you may have heard earlier um, in a series of pieces you've heard this evening. Um, I'm going to have a return of the piece Film Noir, this time uh, played by Hannah Kilpatrick. And listen out for those nuances of, of difference in interpretation um, in the performing of this piece, but definitely one that is clearly enjoyed. So Film Noir, played by Hannah Kilpatrick. This is Film Noir by Mike Cornick.
So now we're going to hear from Eva Ng, um, who's going to perform for us uh, Chopin's Nocturne in C-sharp minor. Um, a wonderfully expressive piece um, that begins quite slowly, um, lento con espressivo, um, and you see the, the shape of the melodic lines uh, being played over the top of uh, broken chords when we hear that main theme after a chordal introduction. Um, technically quite challenging in the sense that you have to maintain a tightness and, and uniformity to the chords that you're playing, but still maintain that lightness of touch for the expressive trills and triplets, etc. Um, Chopin's known for writing music that allows for rubato and, and expressive changing in tempo, which I think allows the performer to, to put a sense of their own identity into the piece that they're playing, um, and is a fabulous tool to, to get players to to search for their own musical um, identity and ownership in their play. And I think Eva does this wonderfully well um, in her rendition of Chopin's Nocturne in C sharp. So now we're on to our final performance to close out our evening with keyboard, the first in our series, and it's going to be played by Romina Johnson. We're going to have a return of Zhang Zhao's remote Shangalila, um, and hopefully it will finish our evening off, taking us close to a remote unspoiled paradise. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this evening's performances. 
Thank you so much to the girls for all the work that they've put in um, to their playing and having something so quickly um, ready for us uh, for this evening's concert. Um, and please tune again for our next Evening With session. Thank you for supporting us. See you soon.